guys, I'm Chris Bowden and welcome to The Geek Group. Today you're getting kind of a weird thing that you normally don't get to see because we don't do viewer mail for production videos, which is why you should probably watch my blog here. If you need more Geek Group than you're getting watching the production videos, my blog posts usually six days a week, give or take. The blog is a little bit different than the Geek Group videos because it's totally behind the scenes. It's just what happens in my day-to-day -day world and it's kind of a thing. The blog is not family friendly, be aware of that. But today, instead of just doing viewer mail for the live stream and for the blog, we're doing viewer mail on production because of this. This was made possible entirely through Geek Group members. The Geek Group IRC donated in the largest fundraiser we've ever done, and the largest fundraiser we've ever done in a single day, which is just insane. To put it in perspective, in 2011, Geek Group member donations accounted for a little bit over $11,000 for the entire year, which is not bad. Last week they raised $12,345.67 in one day. And because of that, we are now able to open this box and show you these lovely goodies that came from our friends in New York, B&H. We're going to need the paperwork. I'm just going to hand that right off to you. So much goodness. Okay. We're going to start out with, we've got filters. Now, for many years, about 10 years now, we've been shooting the, the video that you're watching right now on uh, JVC HM100U cameras. We had one really good camera that we upgraded to, and that was our venerable Sony NX5. We love this camera. It is awesome. We wore it out. It has shot thousands of videos. And it is quite simply worn out. So we're replacing it. And we're replacing it with, wait for it, it's heavy. Oh, the new NX5. Guys, we're going to have to set this on the floor and I'll just pull things out and we'll set it up here. So, because you're going to want to see this. This is pretty much the mother of all unboxing videos. So give me a moment. Thank you. Now, what is sexier than an NX5? We have two NX5s. Ah, ah, ah. Three Sony NX5s. Here we go. This is the NEX FS100 UK, which is our new big super duper camera. And we're going to get a look at this in a little bit. Now, what other cameras do we have? We have. We're experimenting for shooting other types of interesting videos. So we have the little JVC, because we like JVC. We have the little JVC adventure camera here. We have Sony's version of the Contour, because Contour is basically going out of business, and that kills me. And our old friends at Vio have the new POV HD. We're testing that out. What? Ooh. Ooh. And we've got some experimental stuff here. This is something that I bought for me. It's, it's a, a experimental. Oh, no, this isn't it. This isn't the blog camera, is it? This is the adapter. This is a lens adapter because this big camera shoots with E-class lenses. This is the first camera we've ever used for production use that has detachable lenses. This lets us adapt to Moose's massive Sony camera lens collection. Um, but she uses A-mount lenses because she shoots on an alpha. So it'll let us do some really crazy stuff. We're going to be playing with this, and you'll see video of that. What else you got? Lots and lots of batteries, because we use lots and lots and lots of batteries. And then this is a battery charger, another charger. Oh, no, these are the memory units. 120 gigabyte memory units, maybe 128 gigabytes. I'm not sure. But lots and lots of memories. So that is cameras and stuff. So you're going to be seeing more on this as we go in a bit. We will be doing some. I, I think we'll just take all this over there and we'll do a big unboxing. So we'll be back in just a moment as we move all of this to start unboxing stuff. But I got to get it out of the way. And yeah, we'll do it right here because all the cameras are set up. But we got to move all this stuff out of the way. We'll be right back. Here's your examples. This is our Sony NX5 camera that we have used and abused for many years. Now, here's the extra parts that come on it. Because the camera itself is several thousand dollars. It's, it's not by any means an expensive camera. It is made of awesome. Um, 
you need one of these. Here's your memory module, which is bloody expensive. And then, and you should have one of these if you buy, oh, I pushed the wrong button. If you buy a real camera, this is pretty much a universal thing you need. Get a UV filter for your camera. UV filter is piece of glass. They're, they're crazy cheap, they're ubiquitous. You can, you can absolutely get one. If your camera has a threaded fitting on the front, you can get one that'll fit your camera. You can even get these for a lot of little cheap consumer grade cameras. Um, this is less than $20 for this. Now, the objective lens here is a lot more than $20. And if you break it or scratch it or get gunge on it, it it's buy a new camera problem. $20. Cheapest insurance there is in the world of video. So we put one on everything. And when you take all that stuff off of it, this is what you're left with. This is just the camera. This particular camera is going to be going back to Sony where we're going to see if they can repair it a bit because this ring right here was the first thing that died, which is kind of important because that's your focus ring. And then it started basically, we're not entirely sure, but we think the camera may be epileptic. So we're gonna send it off to Sony and see what they can do. However, we loved it so much that thanks to the IRC's support, we bought three more just like it. So here's your unboxing video. Comes with power cord, video cord, USB cord, audio video cord, microphone. Oh, I like that. That's clever. This is a uh, fake battery. You plug that in the back of the camera. This is the bottom of a battery. You plug that in the back of the camera and this into the charger and you can just run the camera off wall power, which is something that we do a lot. And then your nifty battery charger. Software, warranty, paperwork stuff. Japanese box, you must know origami. Ooh, look down inside, that's kind of cool. We've got our shoe. Mic foam, eyepiece foam. Remote. Battery. Camera. And now here is how we at the Geek Group set up a camera. Just take you through this. Some basic stuff. This is good to do with your camera. If you're getting an NX5, here's some recommended accessories for you. I'm going to leave this off. This is a second hot shoe. We can put that on there later if the video team decides they want it. I'm going to set the battery aside. If you don't know which way to put the eye cup on your camera, think of it this way. The handle's on the right, so you're going to hold the camera like this. So you're going to want the eye cup to go like that and wrap your head on the right, so the eye cup goes on like this. I have seen these put on backwards, which is fine if you're left-handed, but it just it weirds me out to see it like that. They even put a little dot on it so that you can be centered. Okay. All right, so the very first thing I'm going to do is put a filter on it For the NX5, you want a 72 millimeter diameter UV protector. The Tiffin part number is 72UVP. Don't touch the middle. You press this little button back here, give it a twist. Make sure your lens is clean, and if it's fresh out of the box, it really should be. Thread it very gently. Be super careful not to cross-thread it. And now your lens is protected. You press the little button right here again. Line it up. You'll see a line right here. That's your little line. You press this on there like that. Line it up. And then it locks right in place. So now that's happy. 
Next thing you'll need is the main memory unit. Oh, they come with stickers. I like things that come with stickers. Another USB cable. Because this will act as a drive. You can USB this right into your computer, which is kind of cool. Comes in a nifty little case now. I like that. I wish I had like 20 of these. That's cool. See, here's the plug that interfaces with the camera. There's a USB thing. So you can pop this off the camera. It's 128 gig flash drive, basically. So we're going to you press the release button on the back. Take that off. Pop that in. Now we've got memory. OK, to put the memory cards in the camera, you go behind the little door on the back. Card A. They go in. Well, they'll only go in one way, so you'll figure it out. But the top goes towards the middle of the camera. Boom. I'm going to turn the GPS off, because we don't ever have a use for that. Um, auto, infinity, auto, auto, auto. Cool. Gain set to low. Mic levels at five. Both inputs for internal at auto. That camera is set up and ready for basic testing. So we've got all the basics on it. Now let's put the microphone on it. The camera itself is good. Come on out, little microphone. There we go. There's our mic. I don't know what you call that, a dead kitten, maybe? It's not really a full dead cat. The uh, foam things that you see in professional video production, you'll, you'll see is a lot. You'll have a guy with like a big boom pole and, and the microphone on the end. If it's big and fuzzy, they're actually referred to as a dead cat. If it's metal and has, it looks like a big pickle, that's just referred to as a blimp. Now, we'll use input one. Oh, wow, they got snazzy little rubber covers on them now. That's pretty cool. that in there and I'll tuck this into the little clip there no plastic take off everything looks good nothing's cracked nothing's messed up all it needs is a battery and there's the charger with the battery on it so that's good so we take that set these cords you never use these cords there we are totally unboxed for the NX5, and now this will go on its charger, and it'll be ready to go tomorrow. We're just going to plug these in and let them charge overnight, and they'll be happy to do that. So I'm going to do that three more times, and when we come back, we will take a look at the big new Sony camera and check that out. Now we get to unbox our big, awesome new camera, which is a Sony NEX FS100 UK. It's got all the usual cables, nothing special. Oh, this is different. A little USB adapter cable with a funny plug on the end that's a little bit different. I don't know. USB cable, fake battery, microphone, eye cup. Ooh. Dead kitten. Paperwork. Lots of stuff. Okay. Battery charger. Hand piece. Well, palm grip. Bits o oh, microphone mount. Bits o metal. A little plastic protector dingus. Shoe plate. Battery. Remote.
careful with that one. That's the lens, which I'm going to leave wrapped for the moment. I think that's everything. And then here's the camera. That's beautiful. It's a lot tinier than you're expecting at first. It's really tiny. Now, I'm going to do a quick assembly here of just getting the basic bits together. That threads, that threads, okay. Now, I've never seen one of these cameras before in my life. I don't know anything about it. It's kind of weird to do this, but I'm going to put the lens on it with the Tiffin protector. I'm going to put the lens on first. Now, this is the kit lens, which comes all nice and packaged. It is a... Three point five to six point three, eighteen to two hundred OSS lens, which is a good basic little kit lens. You can see the image sensor in there. This is an E-mount lens. There are white dots to line up. And then it's on. And then for street cred, we'll add this on the end. There you go. That's starting to look like a whole lot of camera all of a sudden. It's kind of cool. Now this is kind of nifty. You can put this on here. Fold these out. Then you put this on here and it gives you an eyepiece type arrangement. Which you may have to chase a little. There. So you can have the eyepiece type set up there. Or you can pop it off. This lets you take the whole thing off and have like a little shroud around it, or you can take the whole thing off and just have a screen. With this in play, it's kind of hard to get down to all the buttons, and there's things down there like power, start, stop, stuff that you're probably going to need. Full transport controls, all kinds of things like that. Hmm. It's a really neat setup. Now, we'll put the battery in it. Okay, batteries in. Did you just do something? No, okay. So we'll put the big memory module in it. So many cables. Now this doesn't have a blank space holder for the memory module on it. I'm going to lay you down gently because I need another hand. There. Okay. So there's the memory module in it. There's a mount on the side here which is pretty cool. 
There's the usual mounts on the bottom, plus there's a lot of mounts on the bottom. You got quarter inch with a pin, two quarter inch, and then bigger ones. And these look to be three eighths, and then there's these four. There's, there's mounting on the top. There is no shortage of ways that you can hang this camera on something. So let me see if I can find out where to stick. Takes one SD card or memory stick. Is there any other places to stick? So you can only fit one memory card like that in here. You've got more inputs on the back. Audio there, that's audio input two. HDMI, headphones, remote. There's input one over here. So I'm going to take the microphone. screen and then down this side there's the holder plug it in here that's input one and then tuck this like that don't don't put a sharp kink in the cable leave a little bend you can, you can tuck it a lot tighter but you'll make it unhappy um, that's snug that is adjustable out like that which is kind of cool I'll put that about in the middle. That's about right. And that is our setup camera. That's beautiful. I am very deeply excited to start seeing the shots we can get with this. Now, here's something that's really cool and something we can do with this camera that is going to be a lot of fun for our video team. This is an adapter. It's the LAEA2 lens adapter. More paperwork. This little adapter, which is quite sexy in its own right. Now, most lens adapters are just like a tube that you hang on the front of the lens and it lets you take one mount and put it on the other mount. This is not. This, you'll see there's optics in there. There's electronics in there. There's a lot of stuff going on in there. Now this mount looks really familiar to me because this is the one that Moose uses for all of our still photography stuff. So watch this. We can take our standard kit lens off of here. Moose, could you grab me a couple interesting things? You just press the release button. Give it a twist and set that down. And before I go on to anything else, I'm going to put that protective bit on the back there. What is this, Moose? 1300 millimeter lens. That is a lot of lens. I like how it's labeled near, far. The near side is a 650 millimeter lens. There is no near. There is, there is, there is no near. I'm going to do this just be, for the absurdity of it all. Now, you take this, pop the protector off the back. That's really cool with the beam splitter. Okay, so that's locked in place. And I see there's a tripod mount on the bottom of this, though I wouldn't want to hang everything off of that. I'm sure tripod mounting this whole contraption will be fun at some point in the future. Can I set you on the back? I can totally set you on your back. Okay. That's where I want to end up. 
So that's where I want to go. Put that on. Okay, and then this turns back like that. Yeah. At which point, it takes two hands. It gets worse. Oh, I'm sure it does. How do you make it worse? It's tucked in, isn't it? Yeah, I can't spit. <laughs> <laughs> this is beyond insane. So this is our ultimate telephoto setup now at 1300 millimeters. And the camera is, the entire system is actually about 1300 millimeters long at this point and kind of wobbly out here on the end of the tube. So that's not terrifying at all. And with something like this, we can do some pretty amazing video work, which will be cool. Here. Not comical. Okay. 16 millimeters. 16 millimeters. And this will still work. Like it's got the electronics and it'll still pass all this right through. And we're going to be getting you test footage of all of these. There's no dot. I'm really super paranoid about breaking any of this. So I, I've seen proper video professionals just grab these things and pop them right to you. I was like, ah, oh, no, it's no problem. It just goes right in there like that. And I, I don't do that. I'm not that brave. There. Now that looks much more normal. So that's 16 millimeters, which is really awesome. And all of the electronics are maintained through the adapter and everything. And then you've got my personal favorite, which I refer to as the coffee can. This is an 800 millimeter lens. It's refracting. So what is the lens natively? Uh, it's just a straight thread. Oh, OK. So this lens has no electronics at all. No. Okay. That is, that's awesome. That's the one I'm excited about doing. So this is the cool things we can do with our new FS100. You gotta put the lens on. Really? Do you have it? Where's it? Oh, there it is. Okay. All right. Give me just a moment. This is a lens baby which is so wrong to put on a video camera. Uh, it could be really cool. I all the parts for the lens. It's so dusty. So oh. this, is, this is a lens baby, which does something you've never seen a lens do. This is called a tilt shift lens. A lens baby is the quick and dirty, cheap and ugly version of tilt shift, but they have a place and they are fun and they're cool. So we'll be making some interesting video with that, I'm sure. So there you have it, the unboxing and initial examination of the awesomeness that is our new camera gear here at the Geek Group. I would like to personally thank everybody in the IRC who helped us make all manner of history. Which one's ours? There's ours. In doing such an epic fundraiser to make this happen. Where's my dot? And since you guys have done all of that to make this happen, we are now going to work our butts off to get you the absolute best video we can make with all this nice new equipment. So thank you to everybody who got involved, who donated. Now, there's a lot of you out there that might be new to this or not familiar with more of the super secret channels for the Geek Group. There's a lot of Geek Group video that doesn't air on the production channel. This is the main production channel where everything is edited for language, it's family friendly, it's really awesome, it's very high production quality, especially now with new cameras. So this is our first serious real videos. If you wanna see behind the scenes stuff, Captain's blog, that's my personal blog, not family friendly. Do not watch it with your little kids, I swear, a lot. I was raised by a construction worker. 
Um, so that's my blog, new videos almost every day. You can find the live stream here where we're broadcasting right now on those cameras, separate from these cameras that we're using for production. We do live television all day, every day. We have a second channel, which if you're a member of the Geek Group at the level that you have a membership card, if you're a paid member of the Geek Group, you can watch that there and you can control the camera. We have the AV blog, which is behind the scenes of all of our video production shoots. That's run by Liz and Jabroni. Doogie has a blog that's all about car stuff. Bill has a blog that is electronics and master control stuff. There's a lot of people around here with a camera. It's not just production videos. And you can, that was really weird. You can hang out in the IRC 24 seven. We have a ton of people and that's this screen that's always on, on the shoots. You always see a screen off to the side. These are people that can get involved and interact in the video production shoot. And you'll see this in equipment autopsies where we're actually answering questions in real time. Sometimes we do demonstrations for people. This is your way to talk back. So you don't have to just comment in the YouTube videos. You can actually interact with us in real time. So that's pretty cool. This is all exploding with growth right now. New cameras, new production facilities, all kinds of stuff. Everything's about to change and it's entirely your fault. So thank you for getting involved and making this possible. I'm Chris Bowden, and as always, we'll see you next time. This video was made possible by a grant from the Future Girl Foundation. This video was made possible by thousands of private donations from members and viewers like you. Please visit thegeekgroup.org for more information on how you can donate and become a part of our dreams of Avalon. Shut up. Shut up. It's in there. I'm going to put it on. You don't even get to watch it because of all the comments. You don't even get to watch it. No, no. Go home. This is not for you. This is only for the live viewers because you mocked me.